Hi, this is Stan Harder of Digital Pipe Fitter. Today I'm going to be talking about the unroll joint. If you have a pipe joint defined with a component that you want to roll from a flat piece of stock, the unroll joint modifies the template so that it can be placed on the flat piece of stock before it's rolled to give you the exact shape of the component you're looking for. Let's start with a branch joint and look at the branch component of that joint. Now if we wanted to roll this component from a flat piece of material, in the previous version of Digital Pipe Fitter, we would have to go into the settings window and enter a negative wall thickness of that component in order to move the template down to a point halfway between the external diameter and the internal diameter. This is required because when you roll the component from a flat stock, this interior diameter is compressed and the exterior diameter is stretched. But this halfway point in between the two maintains its length. That's the diameter or the width of the template that you would want to use to lay onto your flat stock. Now that's kind of awkward and kind of difficult to remember, especially to remember to set this back to zero when you're done. So let's try the new way. In version 1.9 we have an unroll joint. What the unroll joint does, let's open both of them so we can look at both at the same time. The unroll joint takes a, ba a base joint, which is one of the other joints that's open. Here the joint name is branch to be rolled. We'll select that one. We can pick whether we want to use the header or the branch. And then what we get is a template which is the shrunken width that it would be appropriate to lay on a flat piece of stock uh, to mark before rolling. And we can see a 3D view of what that flat piece of stock would look like after it is cut out, but before it's rolled. Now it's unlikely that this is the length of pipe that you're going to be looking for. What we have for options in the unrolled joint control is a start and an end at point for the pipe. Uh, the first end is the would be the top end of this component and this and the second end is the bottom side as it's drawn as a template. Uh, in this case the first end already has a cut line so that parameter is ignored but if we want to make the pipe longer we can enter um, longer values uh, in the second end parameter and realize that this is all done relative to the origin of this component which in this case on a branch joint is um, this point here is viewed from the top which is the intersection of the branch and the header down in here. The default buttons next to the first end and second end parameters reset the values to one inch from the nearest cut line. Usually you'd press these buttons after you load a new component. Split up parameter can be very useful. Let's look at this original branch component. If we were to roll this from a flat piece of stock, we could make the seam down at the bottom here 180 degrees from the axis, as this diagram shows. Or we could choose to make the seam anywhere around. Uh, for relative to the axis. If we made the seam on the axis, we would be cutting at the thick portion of the template. So let's set the split at to zero. And we see the axis is right here. And the template goes wraps around the left side of the pipe. The usefulness of this split at feature can be shown better 
uh, if I load this very odd shaped branch of this cone branch joint. Notice here the, the seam would be on the back side here, 180 degrees away from this short axis um, on the original. Let's see what it looks like here. Select the cone branch joint, select the branch, click the default buttons to get it all looking like the original template over here. Now we have a very odd shaped template. If you laid multiple ones of these out on a flat surface, you would be wasting a lot of material. Let's say instead of putting the seam at 180 degrees from the axis, let's put it over here at the skinny area, which is a about a minus 20 degrees from the axis. Now you have a nice contiguous shape that's easier to roll, easier to lay out. So that's a basic introduction to the unrolled joint.